Welcome back to Instruments of Destruction. I found some more really unique feats of engineering today, starting with this Void Jumper V5.1 HW by Akandu. So apparently, according to the instructions of this, I'm supposed to press space when I get underneath a building. First of all, can we appreciate the spikes design on this? That looks super cool. Um, but apparently we can activate some saw blades. We can activate some lasers, but I want to know what is space going to do when we get under a building? So this is space. Oh my goodness. So I guess we're supposed to saw our way underneath the building and then do that. And um, I guess we press, what was it? R? Oh, interesting. With R, we actually attach to the ground, which then allows us to do that. So I guess let's just do all of that. Oh, I actually lasered this building a little bit. Oh, this thing's really like, it, it drives really well too. All right, here we go. Ooh, you see how the saws are punching in there? All right, and here we go, pressing space. Oh! <laughs> that was actually really awesome. I'm gonna do it again. All right, let's go into this one right here. Oh, it literally throws the buildings. I don't know what I was expecting. Where's, where's the building? I saw the build, there it is. <laughs> okay, I gotta go for the tallest building here, this one over here. All right, here we go. Going under, pressing R, and just completely destroying the entire building. Well, this is a really unique idea for destroying buildings, just getting underneath and just, I don't even know what to describe this as. I mean, I've built like a building, wait, what's going on? Oh, are there, are there, uh, oh, there's a, a vortex here. I didn't even realize. That also helps to throw the building, I suppose. And it is totally destroying that building as well. But yeah, I've created a building launcher before where you go underneath the building and then lift it all up and launch it. But this is a little bit different than that. The, the, the functionality is a little bit different than that, but it has a somewhat similar effect. All right, well, that was a fun one. Uh, let's see what we got coming up next. So this is the Kati, Katiusha by Supreme Birch Log. <laughs> so it looks like this is a replica of a more realistic uh, kind of creation that launches missiles here. This is a really well-designed truck considering the scale of the pieces that we're using here. It's even got side mirrors and everything. Um, but apparently we just press one, two, and three to launch the missiles. So let's see how they function. Oh, we just narrowly missed this corner of that building. All right, let's go for this one over here. This one's a little bit taller. All right, number two, that'll do it. That didn't do it. Oh, okay, that's not as much damage as I was hoping for. Number three should do it though. It's a little bit to the left. There we go. That was satisfying. Oh, that was really satisfying the way that building collapsed. Okay, up next, we have Spaceship by Ombolo9. I don't know if this is a flying spaceship or a gliding across the ground spaceship. It has the skis. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's interesting. Look, I never really noticed anything with the, is this an option that you can enable? I don't remember any of my builds showing this display over here that actually shows the strength of these, um, these buoyancy balloons here, these air balloons. So you can kind of get a visual reference for how long you've pressed the button for. All right, we got up and down. I see, I see. I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, we got super up and super down, apparently. And then, oh, oh, that's fancy. I like that. Oh, wow, look at this. All right, we're taking off. We're taking off into the atmosphere now. What were the buttons? Oh yeah, and then I also have lasers. Yeah, so as I said in other videos of this game, um, flying creations are relatively limited since there's no like aerodynamic pieces or anything like that. So there haven't been a whole lot of flying creations that I've looked at. There's just been a small handful compared to some other types of creations. But I mean, as you can see, flying stuff is definitely possible, although this one's not the easiest thing to control. I can't really aim down. The buoyancy of this keeps putting the nose up. I wanna get like some damage on a building here. All right, hold on, I gotta... I gotta decrease my altitude a little bit. Oh, all right, increase. Okay, here, this is what I'm doing. I'm just doing it this way. <laughs> just going right in, nose first into the building. Lasers on and everything. All right, just showing up for work. I was a little bit late, I had to rush to work. All right, now that we've done some destruction, I think that means we're allowed to move on. This is instruments of destruction after all. All right, well, speaking of flying creations, oh, look at the shape of this. This is Gyro Bomber by Zombie Ninja. Oh, this thing looks so cool. Hopefully I can learn how to fly it. 
Not that many buttons to control, honestly. All right, so it looks like that is pitch. W and S is pitch on the tail. And then A and D is the yaw. Okay, left shift. Oh, there we go. There we go. So some of these other buttons must be to angle um, these thrusters to go up and down. What about E and Q? Oh, there we go. E and Q is up and down. See, this is this seems to be like the go-to, the most effective method for altitude control, as opposed to those air balloons. The air balloons are really floaty. It's hard to dial in an altitude. But these things, this method right here is actually pretty reliable. All right. Uh, so now, how do I bomb? Oh, there we go. And I missed. All right. Well, let's. That's what the tail is for. We have yaw. We can aim. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, that's N. What does M do? Oh, we have an aiming laser. How handy. J? Oh, did I just... Oh! I didn't know I have rockets under the wings. I didn't even notice those at first. All right, well, let's get the aiming back on. Go down a little bit, lower our altitude. Aim at this building over here. And I think K. There... Oh, it worked! It worked and it collapsed the whole building. That was awesome. All right, let's go down for a nice soft landing. You ready? And there we go. All right, and then I can turn those off. And this is a beautiful design. This is a really beautiful design. I enjoyed that a lot. Hey, let's fire just a couple more bombs before we... Wait, what's going on with these bombs? These bombs can't make it to the building. What's the deal here? There we go. <laughs> Just gotta force it. Sometimes I just gotta brute force it. All right, let's move on to another one. All right, and up next we have the W203 Talos by Neo Runner. Uh, so this looks like a pretty crazy walker type creation. And I think it might actually be a, a legit bipedal walker in the sense that it doesn't use auto balancing. Based on the way that these feet are designed here with these overlapping swords. All right, let's push buttons and see what happens. Number one, all right, we got aiming laser. Two aiming lasers, one per arm. Okay. Oh, there's uh, there's the left arm. And there's the right arm. We're already causing damage. I don't even know how to control this thing yet. All right, we got lasers as well. Okay, that makes sense. R and F. Ooh. Okay, we can move our arms. All right, the walking mechanics. I got to figure out the walking mechanics though. Oh, oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I think I figured it out. Interesting. Look at it go. It actually goes. That's not terrible. I mean, for like a bipedal walker that doesn't use any type of, you know, gyros or thrusters to balance or anything like that. This is actually working. Bipedal is not easy. All right, then I can aim my torso. Aim over here and... Oh, there we go. Oh no, I'm falling. This is my last stand. <laughs> I love how it falls perfectly upside down too. So you thought this was a walker. Turns out it's a break dancer. All right, let's try this again. Gonna aim for the tall building. Ready? Oh, that, <laughs> that's not the tall building. Oh, I, missing on the left. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the walking motion definitely makes this a little inaccurate. Probably shouldn't be walking and shooting at the same time. Maybe, you know, stop and take aim might be a little bit more reliable, but hey, we destroyed the buildings, right? Is this not instruments of destruction? One way or another, we cause destruction. Whether there was much intent behind our accuracy or not, the buildings have been destroyed. So yeah, really cool walker design here. Really surprised it manages to stay up on its own. And now for something a little bit different, we've got, oh man, this is really long. Holy, it's still, oh no. I don't think I'm on the right map for this. This is the AA-20 locomotive by Turbo Jack Flash. I really don't think I'm on the right map for this. Hopefully, eh. Um, Ian, I don't understand. How do I go forward? Come on, we got to get over it. This is holding me back here, but it's starting. Okay, no, it's not starting. All right, we need to switch maps. We got to go to a bigger map. There we go. This is more like it. All right, let's go ahead and turn up the throttle. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Getting some chugga chuggas happening. Oh, look at this. Look at what we got going on up here. This is pretty cool. It's actually got some train engineering. Look at the immersion. I'm so immersed right now. <laughs> is this gonna do any damage, do you think, with the speed that we're going? 
This is my maximum speed, I'm pretty sure. You better watch out, here I come. I am an instrument of destruction. You never want to stand in front of a train, and I'm gonna show you why. Here we go. Okay, it did a little bit more than I was expecting. If you look closely, there's, there's some destruction, okay? There's a little bit of destruction right there, so. Is this thing an instrument of destruction? All right, look, debris. There's debris. Evidence of the destructive power of this thing. Okay, but obviously the main focus of this was just the cool concept with the whole train engineering with the wheels and stuff. So when you think instruments of destruction, you probably don't think flower power by Johnny Arson here. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on inside this flower, and I don't know how much power we're gonna witness, but... Oh, wait a minute. Oh! <gasps> Look at the water! Wait! Hold up. What did I just- what- what did I just do? Did we just part the sea, kind of? Okay, hold on. There's some different buttons. Oh, I can lock myself to the ground. There we go. Ian- oh, there- Oh! I've- I've absorbed everything. We're starting to see some stuff in this game that is not- that is not healthy. People are going in and modifying strength values somehow way past the game limits, and that's causing some interesting reactions here. Here, let me get closer to this building, but, oh, okay, no, the water does look like that by default. I thought that I made those lines, maybe. I don't know, let's pay closer attention to that. Here we go. Oh, no, no, I definitely did something. Look at that. I didn't realize I had that kind of power. All right, you know what? I gotta go back to the structure zoo that has all the buildings on it because I think this is gonna be more interesting to watch than just the one building disappearing. All right, ready? Yeah, there they all go. They all went away very quickly. So you know what that means. Let's slow things down. Down to 10% speed. Let's see what this feels like. Ready? There's so much stuff to, to look at. If you replay that a couple of times, look at what the water does. Look at what the buildings do. Like there's just, there's there's a lot of different stuff going on and I wanna see that again. This time I wanna see it from this perspective. 10% speed, here we go. Look at the water. Look at the water. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. All right, and then one more time, but I'm gonna do reverse direction this time. Three, two, one. 10% speed. The pieces don't even make it to me before it just gets to rubble. Like the pieces, oh, that's satisfying. That is very satisfying. Ooh. Well, yeah, as you saw, the buildings, they didn't even make it to me before. They were pretty much nothing. They were just dust. All right, we're moving on. This is the Quantum Donut Hole by Johnny Arson as well. Is this gonna be another one of those game-breaking, overpowered things? I, I think we're about to find out. Here we go. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Wait, well... Oh, this is different. This one's actually different. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Is this just... This must be just magnets instead of the vortexes, because I think we only took the metal out of it. Oh wait, I am so confused. Why does this, why is this different? No, the metal is staying there. I don't understand what's happening. Here, that's not even slow motion. That's still normal speed. Let's go down to 10% speed and look at what's happening to these buildings. Why are, why is this line, these lines of concrete all stay intact. It's just the bigger panels that all get destroyed. Every longitudinal piece gets preserved somehow, and I don't know... I don't know what the deal is. Gotta say, I'm a fan. I, I thought we were gonna get something a little bit repetitive there, but there was something new to look at. All right. All right, up next is Riptide, created by TurboJack Flash. Well, this thing is definitely... It has a unique setup here. Um, okay. Those go up or down, depending on what we want to, I guess we want to move around and put those up. Oh, look at that. That's kind of satisfying, just watching the chains. 
Okay, hold on. I'm learning. I'm learning here. There we go. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, this should be fun. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Well then, let's put the wheels down, get close enough to a building to throw these spike things at them. See, as crazy as it is to watch the superpower file edited creations that destroy everything in one go, you gotta give an appreciation for this more like, more believable type of destruction here. That was a, that wasn't the best toss of these things here. Let's see if we can get something better. The chains are glitching out a little bit. There we go. Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. Oh, and then of course, bringing them back. All right. Oh! I launched that one way up and that did a, it did a number on it. Oh no, it's gonna come back down on us. Eh. Oh, no. Didn't really do that much to us. I thought I was gonna get destroyed here. Well, here, we're like a fly trap now. <laughs> that was actually, you know what? Building a giant fly trap, uh, not fly trap, I meant mouse trap, not a fly trap. But building a giant mouse trap could actually be pretty fun in this if you can get it to close fast enough and just go right through a building. Okay, and then I saved this one for last for a very particular reason because it is called The End Device by Johnny Arson. Now I'm gonna give a little bit of a disclaimer. I think this thing does cause some flashing on the screen. So just letting you know that's about to happen. And by the looks of it, um, we just have a laser pointing into a barrel of sorts, a barrel of darkness and doom to end the world. <laughs> All right, here we go. Did you hear that? Yeah, everything's everything's just gone, gone now. All right, um, well, let's lower that to 10% speed and see if it acts any differently. Here we go. Oh, it's so flashy. Wait, the buildings aren't... Oh, there they go. And they're gone. They literally disappear... <laughs> they literally disappear in a flash. Like, within a flash is when they disappear. And yep, they're just turned to rubble. Okay, yeah, I see why now. Um, the strength is at 10,000 for this laser. You know, and I will say, as fun and crazy as it is to push the limits of things like that, it does make it a little bit harder to be unique from the previous one that just put a value up to like 10,000 and destroys everything in a single button. So going forward, I probably am gonna be focusing a little bit more on the mechanical stuff than this kind of stuff, because it's just gonna add some more variety and some more spice to how things get destroyed how things function. Doesn't even need to be about destroying, to be honest. I mean, look at the train. Still fun to watch and still unique and stands out amongst all the rest of everything. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.